friends, so uh, today I'm going to do a sketchbook tour, which is a video I've wanted to make for a really long time, and I hope to make a few more in the future. Um, I know not everybody might be here for this particular type of video, um, so if you have no interest in sketchbooks or sketches, look away now. Um, so I've had this particular sketchbook for about two years now. Um, I also tend to use my sketchbooks a lot as journals, um, where I'll write like my feelings or I'll write down really anything, um, you know, poems, songs, notes that I need to take for that day, like somebody's phone number or something. This is an OC of mine that hasn't been really worked or touched <laughs> in a little while. Um, he was a little fawn archer. Let's him again. I don't think there are too many upside down drawings in this one, hopefully. Hands. This is a this is a really quick doodle of just like a guy's face, and I actually have a really quick doodle of a guy's face in my sketchbook that I'm working on right now that almost looks exactly like this one, but better. Um, I don't know, I think that's funny. <laughs> uh, there's that fawn archer again, uh, some undertail, <laughs> that's a really, really bad face. Um, I love undertail, even though it doesn't always have the... Uh, best reputation. I quite enjoyed it. Fish. Are some centaur characters. This was when Pokemon Go came out. Um, this was for an art group that me and a couple of my friends are part of on Facebook where we pick a drawing prompt every month and we just sort of sketch it or draw with it and I forget what the prompt was but I think it was something to do with Pokemon and I drew myself as a gym leader with my Lapras but it didn't turn into much more than that sketch. Yeah, so August 4th, 2016. So I've had it for almost a year. Sorry, two years was way off. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the eye of a macaw parrot. I think their eyes are really, really neat, really interesting, but kind of freaky at the same time. <laughs> uh, this was done camping when I went to Keji last summer. And there was a fire ban on, so it was really cold at night. Um, so I just kind of doodled and or we played Hangman. Um, I don't know what that is. So this is where I first started getting the first development pictures of Amelia, who is the main character of my comic. Um, I still really like that one. Um, good body shape, work on face. I agree with both of those. <laughs> um, these ones are nice. This is a little drawing of my friend Jen and my friend Deirdre. Or Amelia. She is a kind of like a Grim Reaper. She's a spirit that fights with a scythe. <laughs> I can't draw. I know. I know. <laughs> this is Anders, I think, from Dragon Age 2. You wanted to change the world. I didn't think that would mean blowing up a church. Yep. Yep. That's him. And I think that is a drawing of Commander Shepard at a bar. 
is more Amelia. I really like this one, um, even though the face isn't quite what I do now. And I changed her sleeves. Um, her sleeves are more close to her wrist now, but looking at these ones, I kind of like that better. <laughs> Uh, and then these were some pictures of Lewis, who is the main, like the other main character of my comic. Um, I'm still not 100% on board with his design yet. He's in here a couple more times. Um, this is like a, I mostly kind of want to do like a really rough, sort of like a thumbnail, but not really. Uh, this is Amelia. This is a guilt demon. This is a concept for another demon for my comic. This is loneliness. They sort of latch on to people who feel isolated or alone in the world and kind of feed off of that. Um, this is for a print that I'm working on, which is just like all the stuff you use as a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> This is another prompt for that drawing group. The prompt was animal. So at first I, I had this idea of drawing like a wolf sort of separating out of a doe. Um, but what I had in my mind, I don't think my skill is quite there yet to attain. So I changed my mind and I did this one instead, which I still actually really like. Um, it's painted with gold acrylic. I don't know if you can see the shininess there, but I really like that. Um, that's just some more deer doodles. I really like deer a lot. That's my cat pixel. This is something to do with struggling. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that feeling. Mm. Sorry if my voice is kind of shot by the way. I literally just got back from Anime North and I didn't really realize how much um, I had lost it just from talking constantly. Um, that and my cat is sleeping right beside me. I don't want to uh, this is a creature of mine. They're like crystal unicorns. They don't have eyes. They have like mass amounts of crystals kind of growing through their face. <laughs> Some pose sketching. Another one of those unicorns. I like the uh, I like the way the spike kind of goes through the head there. Uh, this was for another print I wanted to do that I kind of was like, meh. And I also wanted to see if watercolor would even do anything with this paper, and clearly it did not. Um, but it's one of the Alolan trainer signs. I really liked how they made them in that game. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was not the new year when I put those in. I think I just... Uh, this is a study, um, I am not going to pronounce this right, uh, Kuvshinov Ilya on Instagram. Uh, they are an amazing artist and I really, really like how they do their eyes. I'm trying to adapt a style similar without being a direct copy. <laughs> um, so these four are, oops, sorry. <laughs> These four are a um, direct reference and copy from the eyes. Uh, that one and those ones are mine. And the hair and stuff is mine. But the eyes are, the eyes are theirs. Um, this is another, I forget the artist. I will put it below, but I, he did a really cute little cyber witch and I just wanted to figure out how he did the pose, so I kind of copied it, but I, that's all I wanted was to figure out how he did it. <laughs> uh, this is 
reference from a photo I found on Pinterest. I really wanted to draw the ruffles in the outfit. I don't have um, a whole lot of skill drawing fabric, or at least I'm getting better, but I like to do some fabric studies. <clears throat> Uh, this is another monster concept. Uh, this is a dream eater, although I might play around with the name. Um, he looks a little bit too goofy, I think. <laughs> um, I wanted it to be like, they're what inspired stories about vampires, but they're not vampires, but um, I think I need to relook into that. I oh, can't really see this page. Um, oh, this is um, some thumbnails for another print I wanted to do. It didn't happen. <laughs> uh, this is some um, comic stuff, uh, character bios, and I was trying to flesh out a scene. This is Amelia's character breakdown, although I hate her face here. She looks like super gothic, and she isn't. <laughs> uh, and this is me trying to figure out Lewis more. Uh, this was my first picture I drew of him that I kind of had him looking the way that I want him to, but I'm still, like to this day, like where I am right now, I'm still not super happy with how he looks. So he's taking me um, a while to kind of get him to where, to get him to a place where I'm happy with him. <laughs> um, this is, I had one of those pens from our bookstores here called Chapters that are supposed to like last nine years and it dried up on me in like one year. <laughs> plant studies, so this is eucalyptus. Calendula. Uh -huh. You can see it, some cucumber. Carrots. I like the carrots. The carrots are nice. Garlic. A uh, different kind of eucalyptus, but still eucalyptus. Uh, this is a print I want to make um, about eating ramen. This is another OC character of mine. She's beautiful. I love her. This is a page that I know I want in my comic, um, whether or not it takes a year to make or ten years, um, but I I just really I like eye scenes like when they're zoomed in. It's really ugly because it's, it's just, I think like Crayola colored pencil. Um, if my first Anime North checklist that didn't get finished. <laughs> uh, this was my mermaid. Attempt. I was like, yeah, totally gonna do it. I think I drew three. <laughs> She's cute though. And then, this one. and then at this point, I was like, done. <laughs> I wonder if you can guess what this is. <laughs> uh, these are some faces that I did. I really like this one and this one. Uh, face practice. There was a picture of Lewis there. I really didn't like it, so I didn't care when I did this atrociously ugly Yu-Gi-Oh drawing. Yep. 
This is a, another reference from a photo I found on Pinterest of this like set of this guy jumping off a building um, in this like praying pose. It's really neat. Um, I saved it because they're pretty dynamic looking. Uh, and you can see here, like this is a lot more recent. You can see quite a big like difference in style. <laughs> That is, I believe, Sailor Moon and Sailor Jupiter in sunglasses. <laughs> I like the picture. This is dumb. Oh, oops. <laughs> Some pro point pins I want to make. And that's it. some notes in the back. Alright, well, thank you for watching if you did. I hope to have a new one of these um, very soon uh, if I can get my rearing gear on the sketchbook I'm working on now. Um, but yeah, thanks. See you later. Do you mind? <laughs>